Hi you guys, it's Corinne. I am going to give you some tips for Minuet 2 from Suzuki Book 1. Okay, so I like to start with the string crossings in major 1, but with open strings. Stop, cross the bow over to the D. Drop elbow, hand goes to A, over. So you just want to make sure that you're not doing the string crossings with the whole arm, okay? And for those of you who don't have parents helping you, if you're trying this by yourself and you're trying to make sure that your arm is being still, your elbow's low, you can actually reach through here and just gently put your hand on your elbow. And then, because you want the upper arm to be still while you do this. Okay, then once you've done that, you can smooth it out. Cross over. So we don't want the drag on the A string. Stop, cross over. Okay, then we're gonna put the fingers to that. And I like to do it staccato just to learn it. Over. Okay, I'm gonna turn around so that you can see which fingers are being left down. So you're gonna keep the one there to just have a little reference point for your low second finger. Then let go. Notice two is still down, then bring in one. Leave the second finger to place three. Then you don't have that. Okay, and then you can smooth that out. Okay, then the next drill I like to do is with the triplet. You have two triplets in Minuet 2. The first one is here, and we're gonna do this. Really tiny bows. So you have three down bows. Stop, stop. Okay, then you're gonna see how many you can fit in, and then you can speed it up. all the way to the tip, and then you can smooth, uh, smooth it out with legato. But not, not that. Make sure you put a space so it stays clean. Um, when we get, when you have put this into the piece, if you've practiced that small bow, then we don't get That's normally what we end up with. So, small. Okay, then the second half for that D sharp, I like to do reach. Okay, so reaching, one stays down, reach inside corner. Pinky is round right next to it. And if the three is in tune, if that D sharp's in tune, the E should ring. Okay, so from the back, make sure your thumb is not up too far because it makes it harder for the third finger and the four to go in the right spot. Okay, then you'll have two ups. Okay, then after that, you get another triplet. This one, a lot of times I get with that third finger. So, same way you did the first triplet, reach for the three. So that A is ringing. Okay, 
all the way to the tip, speed it up. Okay, then you can smooth it out. Then you can put it together with the next part. Up. Okay, and then we go from the beginning. Cross. Up bows. Now pull. Okay, I'm going to turn around for this part. Second finger stays down. You're coming back to it, then you hop. Slow bow up. to use a three three and one just for the frame of the um, C natural three and one here's your triplet up, up, down. so if you remember from minuet one and etude we set the third finger and the first finger just to create that frame so that your low second finger can find where it's gonna go until you're used to it, then we take it away. Okay, then you have that repeat, and then the second half. Gentle up bows, crossover, so the elbow drops to E. Gentle up. Up, up, triplet. Open. I use open there because you're going to the E string. Then scale. Pinky. Circle. You're going to set it the frog. For this, I call this the rocking horse part. Um, staccato first. Down. Cross over with the hand. Down. smooth it out and I like to stay low in the bow otherwise I see a lot of that pulling too quickly so you'll have the slur the two notes for the slur and then go back the same length for the up bow to E unless you prefer a fourth finger there. Three and one. Here's your triplet like the first half. And then you have the repeat. So hopefully you will find something helpful for Minuet 2.